Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masih Chess Game from the History of Chess from 1929 and in the chess game we have a fantastic and a Masih Chess Game by Miguel Naidorov who is playing with the white pieces and who was from Poland but he was actually from Argentina but he was originally from Poland so let's see because he then emigrated to Argentina and in this chess game, Miguel Naidorov's opponent is Glicksberg, who is playing with the black pieces, and this chess game was played in Poland in 1929. A massive chess game by Miguel Naidorov, the legendary chess player. He was one of the best and most dominant chess players from 1940s and 1950s. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Naidorov starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e6, and we have the French defense. Knight out, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, and this is the Rubinstein variation of the French defense. Pretty effective. And knight to d7 is the iconic move of the Rubinstein variation, and black can push to c-pawn. Black can also play b6. And Fianchetto his bishop, so knight to f3, knight from g to f6, bishop out, bishop out. And Miguel Naidorov castled. b6, knight to e5. Bishop to b7, simply developing. And Miguel Naidorov captured the knight. g takes on f6. With this move, black is also opening the g-file. And black wants to play rook to g8, targeting on g2. A one-move threat. Not very dangerous. Well, in this position, if knight takes knight, then bishop check on b5 looks ugly and maybe bishop takes knight was more convenient so in the real chess game we have g takes on f6 and it is white to move well neither of thought that the king side is looking vulnerable with this move and he decided to sacrifice a piece knight takes on f7 what a move Well, this is also forking the queen and the rook, so king takes on f7 and checking the king, and we have king to g8. But in this position, if king to f8, then bishop check, king to g8, and basically black is getting force checkmated. Queen to g7, and then sacrificing the bishop or the queen. Either way, black is getting checkmated. Checkmate. Beautiful. So after checking the king, king to g8 is a must. King to f8 is not working, that is out of questions. But now, rook d1 targeting the pawn. And the rook will join the attack, defending the pawn. But this is not stopping neither of. Rook takes on e6, what a move. Knight takes on e6, but now pinning the knight and threatening to capture the knight and then check. And the black king is not going to last for too long. It looks like the king is in the mating net. So extra defense with the queen. But now bishop in. Bishop back. Defending. And now rook over targeting the pinned knight. Bishop back. Defending. And now neither of plate. Queen to e8. The bishop and the knight is pinned. What now? Well, black tried a trick. We have bishop to d7 and if actually capturing the rook, that is losing for white. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? If I give you 3 seconds, can you guess the next move of Miguel Naidorov? Well, neither of sacrifice the queen. What a move. Rook takes on e6. But let's take it back. If capturing the rook, then king to f7 and where did white's attack go? What are you going to do next? White is a piece down. And it looks like the king is extremely safe. In this awkward looking position. But white is a piece down. And this is losing for white. So capturing the rook is off the table because of this 
After Bishop to d7, Knight of played this incredible rook takes on e6. What else? Rook takes on e8, but now capturing the rook. Rook takes on e8. This is a discover check to the king with the bishop. So only defense, and then bishop takes on e6 by knight of check. Only move, and then knight of captured the bishop. Rook takes on f8. Check mate. Fantastic. An incredible checkmate by Miguel Nidorov. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this chess game and I hope to see you next time with more beautiful and amazing chess games like this one. So take care, stay safe and bye bye.